And a very good evening, everybody. Williston, the birthplace of high school wrestling in our great state, hosted a battle of the unbeatens on Saturday. 8-0 Bismarck against 6-0 Williston. We take a second look at the showdown and see who left the mat unbeaten. We begin it at 2:15. Coyote senior Ty Weedrick is a steady football player. He's a steady wrestler as well. A great start for the Coyotes. He wins 3-1 over Aiden Schlaufman. Then, folks, at 285 of Frosch, Anthony Naya. Remember that name. He attacks Cody St. Alban in front of a Great, great crowd, and the Frosch go. We said he attacked, right? Hope he goes off a football. Five zip, five zip on that decision. At 114, Coyote senior Aaron Morris having a great year. Turns the tide against Caden Engerberg. Has got a pin him at 125, and the Coyote fans absolutely love their performance from their senior. Then Bismarck starts the pins, the home run. At 189, Ranger Owens pins Dante Novembri at 305. Then at 172, standout wrestler A.J. Arujo having a good year, pins Colton Adam with the Coyotes, 41 seconds. And they use those pins to go on to beat Williston, 48 to 18. So they now improve to 9 and 0, Coyotes 6 and 1, but still having a great season. You can get another shot to see him on Thursday at home, 7 o'clock against Minot. That's when they roll out the mats. Now, Teton hockey team on Saturday afternoon was trying to even up their weekend series against new rival Lake Region. Let's go to the Pete Conlin Family Arena for a second look. Teton's opened the scoring of this wild one. Crosby's Kyle Knutes in a freshman, and he is going to score. One zip at 17-11. Royals right back. Brady Wickenlum is going to find Owen Van Rose Bay, and he scores 1-1. One, one. Wow. Cody Barnes, a big score, had a big year last year, comes down and he's going to score on the rest of That's going to make it 2-1. to one. Then Crosby's Alex Bailey finds him again. He's going to deflect it in. That's going to make it 3-1 to one Tetons. But on the power play, Brady Wicklin is going to put in a bullseye. You heard that one go right in to make it 3-2. Williston's future hockey players on hand. You'll love to see that. Lake Region skates to a 7-5 win over the Tetons, and then they won on Sunday in Sydney, 4-zip. So they came to Williston and uh, beat Williston three games to none. Great to have Lake Region adding hockey, and it gives Williston some other teams to play against. So that's uh, certainly very, very good news, but the Tetons want to get them a little bit later on in the season. Well, a special night. Tomorrow is Don Scadlin night as the, the Coyotes host Minot for two. Don Scadlin was a great Coyote, helping them win their last state title in boys hoops back in 1975. Always supported the Coyote programs. The MVP of both games will be awarded a $500 scholarship funded by his loving and great family. That's tomorrow night, 6 and 7, uh, 45 p.m. against Minot. Don Scadlin night. Always a great night to remember a great Coyote. And who knows? Maybe we can get him twice. All right, Class B boys basketball. Bowman County behind the Twins. They're on top, 12 and 0. West Hope, Newburgh, North Star, Ryan, Glen Owen, Hebron, Linton, HM. B, Sergeant County, Hankinson, and how about that? We got a team from Northwestern North Dakota in the poll. It's about time. Trinity Christian gets in ninth at 11 and 1. If I know those kids, they'll be fired up to hear that. And Wilton Wing is 10th, 11 and 2. And another club from our neck of the woods is getting uh, votes. That would be Alexander, so that's good news. We play some hoops out here, that's for sure. Let's take a timeout. 